Hi, this is Warren from frontendaudio.com, and today we're talking about the Joe Meek 1Q Master Channel. The 1Q is a very, very unique device in that it can provide the preamplification that you need for microphones or instruments, but also full EQ, full dynamics control, as well as an enhancement section, and for vocal recording, it actually has a de-esser built in. Top it all off with a um, digital output section, and you've got a very, very versatile box in your hands here. There's a lot of different features that we can go through with the 1Q. Our input section, we have an XLR input on the face or on the rear of the unit that we can use for our microphone. And also our quarter inch instrument input jack as well. Phantom power, iron. The iron switch actually puts an input transformer in the mic pre-circuit, adding a weight and a bit of a sheen to the sound, like a little bit of an old school kind of vibe, giving you more character choices as well. We've got a pad, we can select the line input, and we've also got phase reverse. There's 60 dB of gain available. Um, the microphone preamp is a Burr Brown design called the INA217. It is a low distortion mic pre with great detail, a very robust sound, and will do as well or better than most uh, good grade console microphone pre's. We've got a high pass filter, which is a 12 dB per octave slope at 80 cycles to get away um, get rid of any bass rumble that we have going on. And our metering can be switched from the pre or also to gain reduction. The optical compressor section is a full compressor section. Um, we've got our threshold here. We're able to start at a one to one ratio, which is no compression at all, and work up through the most gentle of ranges or crank it all the way to 10 to one, which is limiting. Our attack section is um, a variable from one millisecond to 100 our release from 0.1 second to three full seconds, and of course with makeup gain after as well. One interesting thing about this unit, we can actually select post EQ on the compressor, so we can put it anywhere in the path that we need. We can also link to compressors for stereo work as well, and of course it's all switchable in and out of the chain right here. On the EQ section, we have a, we have a low shelf that is switchable between 80 in 120 cycles, so we've got some versatility there. Um, also on the low mid, we're se selectable from 120 cycles to 2K, and on the high mid, we're selectable from between, let's see, 600 and 10K, so a good range on the high mid as well. The upper shelf on this unit is a little different in that it is switchable between 7K and 14K, so more versatility there. The enhancer circuit. Things get interesting with the enhancer circuit. Mainly in the upper mid-range section, um, we can select how much effect we want to dial in. We can find the frequencies that we're looking for, our range there. And then we can look at how wide or how narrow we want to find that frequency range that we want to enhance with harmonic content to give it a very excited and forward kind of sound. Very interesting circuit. Um, great on synths and, and things like that as well. And we can switch that in and out of the circuit. The de-esser circuit here, we're able to tune, find the frequency range, and then the amount of de-essing that we want to occur. But to even further help you, there's actually a solo circuit available. So we can only listen to what the de-esser is doing, find those S's and T's, knock them down um, a little quicker and a little easier, and get right back out. And it's switchable in and out of the path as well. Everything can be brought in and out of the path however we desire. And we have makeup gain, of course, after all of these. Turn the unit around, we can see that we have an additional XLR mic input on the rear that we can leave permanently plugged in. We have our line input and insert. There's a plus four XLR balanced output. We also have a plus four or minus 10 quarter inch output that's available if we want to feed a monitoring chain or a live mixer uh, while we're recording a performance. The compressor link is done with a quarter inch cable as well. We can set each unit as a master or a slave. Um, we have a second analog input that can be fed to the stereo spitif or toss link output here. We also have word clock B and C connections if we want to clock from another source. Um, and we also have AES output available as well. The Joe Meek 1Q is obviously a very, very uh, versatile unit. Vocal tracking, having the de-esser and compressor sections on board, and also being able to slip iron into the path is very nice to have. You've got a full featured EQ section on there as well. And the fact that the, the units are linkable, which means that down the road you could purchase another one uh, Q unit, and you could also do stereo bus compression. You could slam a stereo 
a drum bus with it, or run your entire mix through the unit if you, if you so desire with an EQ and also with the enhancement section as well. Gives you a lot of nice options that you have. For more information on the Joe Meek 1Q and for all your pro audio needs, check us out online at frontandaudio.com. Thanks.